So in the last video, we were able to get back our balance, save it in a custom database, save it in an option uh, to allow us to have easy access to that information. So this time around, I actually just want to send an SMS and then at the end of that, we shall be able to make a UI that suits to save our information, that suits to save the admin password and username. But first, let's send that SMS to our phone. So what we need here is uh, I'm going to just add some more content to our comment. We actually need to send a bunch of data through our JSON that looks like this. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to be changing our method, but this will be in our, inside our body. So first thing first is we're going to get sent to data API right here. I'll uncomment this out and I'm going to add our variable here. So we need to JSON encode and what we're going to JSON encode is the information that we are getting here. So I'll save this inside an array of data. So we will call it array data as our response. Or we can basically just have our array here and make everything really short. So we first of all need to add a method and the method we shall use the equal sign then greater than arrow and our method is going to be called send SMS. The next piece of information that we need to have just like when we're getting back our data in terms of uh, the balances that we have. We just need to pass the user data so we'll get the user data from here and say single quotes add that and, and append. So here it's going to take another array of information. We'll add our comma here and inside here we're going to need a username and we shall add our username that we already had which is Liz and then comma then we shall add our password and our password we, which we call plugin and then just add a comma because that's the WordPress standard and then the next thing that we're going to do here is add message data smg data and then to it we also need another array of data but inside that array we are also going to be adding another array. So it's a multi-dimensional array meaning that it's going to take a couple of numbers so you can either send to one number or you can send to a number of numbers I should say. Uh, so let's just copy this and add it to our array. I'll take off this bits and tab this out. So we're going to change the double quotes that we do have into single quotes and then we'll change these columns into a proper array for PHP. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my sender ID, I'm going to pass in the message, we're going to pass in the number. But before we go for our send data, I'm going to just push this down so that it's, uh, it's to the function. Before we do anything else, I'm just going to try to vadam this so that we can see what we are getting. So comma then I'll say data to send to API. So I'll save this, come back here to admin, reload, I'm not seeing it, uh, send data because I'm in the wrong place. So uh, we're going to go to admin menu and we already have this showing up here. So I'll just copy from outgoing and then just see what we're going to have here. <coughs> so copy this, we'll cut this, come back to the admin menu and then just test this here and then I'm going to comment out everything else just to see for what we're getting. So when we look at this we actually have what we needed. Uh, if we are to compare we need our method, need our user data which is inside an array and then we have our message which is inside an array of data. So this is the right way of doing it and we're doing it. So I'll just come back to our user admin, undo everything, any changes I had made there, save and then we'll come back to our send data here. I'll uncomment this out because we want to see what's going to happen. Uh, I can now actually reduce these comments and just say send SMS, send SMS to API, save here. So this is what I have here. I don't need to over dump this anymore because I know it's the right thing. This is the right URL we're going to be sending to data. Our method will be a post type, a post, a type of post. We'll send what we have here encoded uh, to our URL. The arguments are already here 
and so if we get an error we shall get a response and echo this back or if everything else works out right we're going to print out our response. So I'll save this, I'm going to get get send data from here and I'm going to add it to our admin page here. So I'll take out the get balance function for now and then use our send data as our admin callback. So let's run that, reload this here. Oh, the reason that's not yet working is because we don't have this file listed here. So outgoing SMS needs to be added to our required files. We'll add outgoing dash sms to our required files and then I'll come back and reload this page. When I click on it we get back a response here staying, the status is okay, the cost was this much, uh, then we have the code and of course we have our object body that's storing everything, uh, the success story that we do have, everything is right. So reload, and we get back a story of success, everything was right, we get our status, we get our cost in the body, uh, we get the response to confirm that and on our phone we actually have our message showing up. So we know that our SMS is being sent, now what we need to do is actually just capture all this information that's coming back in our response in the body, uh, what we have here, this is what we need and everything is okay. So what we need to do now is actually just make an admin interface to show, uh, to set up how we can send all this information to our server side. So let's jump into that in the next video.